So here's a question for you. How much time do you spend maintaining your garden? And how much time do you spend enjoying your garden? So which one of it is higher? Uh, do you spend more time working on your garden than enjoying or admiring your garden? So throughout my 12 years as a gardening coach, as a gardening ambassador, people have been asking me this question. Hey, you know, how can I spend less time on maintenance? How can I cut down the chores? I just want to enjoy my garden. I just want to look at my beautiful flowers. I don't want to do all the hard work. I don't want to do all those chores that I don't enjoy in the garden. Right. So yes, you can reduce the time needed for maintenance, but you also need to understand. Right? You need to understand that maintenance is also part of gardening. Right? There are some gardeners who enjoy these chores. So you can't really just run away from all this uh, maintenance work in gardening. So, so here's how you do it, which I think is the most powerful way to do gardening. Right? Is to understand the growing environment, right? is the understanding about the growing conditions. So with good understanding, with good knowledge, you can then choose the right plants to grow. And when plants are grown in the correct growing environment, gardening will be effortless. Right? You don't need to spend a lot of time maintaining it. So I remember back then when I was trying to grow moth orchids, right? Philanopsis. So they have very big colorful flowers but they have certain uh, growing requirements. So the climate in Singapore is usually uh, tropical, which is where I'm staying. After doing my research, I realized that my Philanopsis, my orchids uh, needs uh, to have night cooling. Right? You, you need to have lower temperature at night to survive and grow well. So what I did was that uh, every night I have to carry the, I have to carry that pot of orchid from my corridor into my bedroom for the air conditioning because I turn it on uh, every night. And every morning before I go to work, I have to carry the, the pot of orchid back out to the corridor. So that's a lot of work, right? You know, just for one plant. Imagine you have three or five of those plants. Right? It's just crazy. You are like moving house every night. And if you are lazy, if, if you forgot to bring it uh, back, in the, back out in the corridor, they will just die. Right, but if I have done my research before I bought the orchid, I will have tried growing something else. Maybe, um, you know, I, I am doing a lot of hard work because the conditions are not ideal. So doing research, getting the knowledge, getting the understanding can save you a lot of chores, a lot of hard work, and of course, a lot of money. So that's how you keep maintenance to the minimum. You only grow plants that suits your environment. So today in my corridor garden, I got around 20 pots of plants. I got 20 pots of plants at home and I spend less than uh, 10 minutes a day maintaining them. Right? So that includes like watering them, pruning those uh, dried leaves and fertilizing. Right? All this doesn't take me more than 10 minutes. So here's another story. Right? I had a mini garden in the office. Right? It was mainly herbs like rosemary, mint, and others given by my colleagues. And uh, most of these plants are not doing well because the conditions are not ideal. Right? Office environments, not all plants can do well in such environments. So my colleagues always said that, you know, I was a lousy gardener. Right? The plants just keep dying in the office. So I was like, hey, I'm a gardening coach. So let me show you what real gardening is. So recently, I got a pot of hard water, right? If you, if you have watched my the other videos, you will see I reviewed a pot of hard water, which is a succulent. Right? Because from my research, I know that uh, it can do well in the dry and sunny environment. And it doesn't require a lot of uh, watering. So it's easy to maintain or it's a very uh, hardy plant to grow in the office. So I wanted to give it a try in my office. And sure, it really grows uh, pretty well and not a lot of maintenance needed and it got bigger and bigger and it got more leaves and now even producing uh, babies, right? Side plants. So I didn't spend a lot of uh, effort maintaining it because the conditions are already right and I don't need to shift it around and I don't need to prune it. So I just simply water every day. Right? Because the conditions are right, it grew well with minimum care. Right? It is so easy and it looks really very pretty. So my plan is to get more hard water for my office garden. And that is what really uh, gardening is. Right? Simple and enjoyable. 
all you need to do is to do your research. Do a lot of research. Right? Get the right plants for the right environment. And then you will have more time to uh, enjoying than spending time maintaining it. So if you want to learn more about doing research, you want to learn more about uh, adopting the knowledge-based approach to gardening, I have something for you. So I have put together an ebook called Grow, which teaches you exactly how to do that. You can download it for free with the link in the description below. So if you want to learn more about our gardening, you want to learn about knowledge-based approach gardening, or how I do gardening, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Because every week, I will upload three new videos to help you to become a better gardener. So until next time, watch my videos and I will see you soon in my next video.